Hi guys, I'm Emily and today we're going to work on a uh, uh, problem that involves sketching orbitals and identifying the nodes. So we're asked to sketch the 4p orbital and identify the radial and angular nodes. So the first thing to know is that this is the general shape of a p orbital. It could also go in this uh, direction, which is, you know, we can call this y, we can call this x, and we can call this in the z direction. So we can sketch any one of these, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and use the x one. So this is the p orbital. Right here is our angular node. And the, the node is a region of space where um, the electron clouds just cancel out and no, no electrons exist in that node. So this is just a, a 2p orbital, but we want to draw it a 4p. So that's one radial node. Oh, and let's not forget. This is a, sorry, it's a plus, and this is a minus, and that's the 4p. So, once again, we identified that this is the angular node, and these two are going to be the radial nodes. So, just as a, as a general rule, the number of nodes that an orbital has is equal to n minus 1. So if we have a 4p orbital, n is equal to 4, 4 minus 1, we have to have three nodes. Now one of them is an angular node, and the other two are radial nodes. So how do we know how many angular and how many radial we're supposed to have? Well, this is a p orbital. If you remember from your quantum numbers, if n is 4, then our L can have any number up to n minus 1. For a p orbital, L is equal to 1. For an s orbital, L is 0. For a d orbital, L is 2. So L also determines our, uh, the number of angular nodes that we have. So if we have a p orbital, we know that we have one angular orbital. Uh, one, sorry, one angular node. And if we have an s orbital, we have zero angular nodes because the L for an S orbital is zero. So once again, this is a 4p. Uh, that was a 2p orbital right there, three and four. Two radial nodes and one angular nodes. I hope this made sense. If you still have questions, feel free to stop by my office hours and I, may, and I can explain it to you again. Thank you.